All right, we finally got the nook in. So just for comparison, here is the nook from Barnes and Nobles. A little smaller but thicker than the Kindle from Amazon. And of course the larger, and we're only looking at the e-reader portions, uh, comparing the e-reader portions of these, the iPad from Apple. Now the notable thing about the, both the Nook and the Kindle is that when they have screensavers, normally they have screensavers of famous authors. And this is Jules Verne. Uh, this is actually a de depiction of Hercules, I think. Uh, but I've seen Jane Austen, um, other authors on the Kindle. We've talked that we, we had the smackdown between the Kindle and the iPad before. So right now we're going to talk about the Nook a little bit. So I just got the Nook in. So let's take a look at it. Uh, so again, this is a screensaver. It's, again, about the size of a paperweight, uh, excuse me, not a paperweight, a paperback book. And... Let's get into the, the Kindle. The Nook. So, that's right. Thank you, Melanie. Let's get into the Nook. Yes, I get them confused. And actually, ironically, the charger for the Nook also fits the Kindle. So I don't know who the manufacturer of the devices are, but, they're, but they are very similar in many ways. The N for Nook, and obviously uh, it's a takeoff on book. So we have... The, the, the Nook, and it's a combination of touchscreen and these buttons here that will advance the pages forward and backwards. So this is the home button right there, uh, which is really a touchscreen. Uh, the categories, Melanie, you can probably read it better than I can. What are the categories there? The first one is the daily. Great. And mm -hmm. my library... Now I put my reading glasses on. Mm -hmm. Shop. Uh, reading, reading now. Reading now. This is what you're reading now. Now the Nook has games on it. It's also Wi-Fi enabled, and you can put audio music on it. And you can, on you, can you can go on the web, which you see is in in beta. The settings is to, for the Wi-Fi. The games are limited. I don't know whether you can put other games on there, but of course for the intellectual reader, Sudoku and chess other two games on, on there. And let's see. So let us go into my library. And again, this is a combination of touch screen. screen. And let's view my documents. And pardon me for fooling around with this. Actually, the two documents are Nook Tour and Nook User Guide, just for illustrative purposes. And I'm gonna. And here's how you you activate it. You push this button here, I believe, or maybe not. Yes, you do. Okay. So if you wanted to advance, uh, I've actually got it as far as I can. If I wanted to go back on the page, I can arrow back. It's on page 11 of 11, and now it's on page 10 of 11. So it's not the touch screen and flip. This just gives you a tour. And let's actually look at a book in it. So let's go in my library. And we're going to view my BNN library and take a look at the book. A book, I'm sorry. And this is Caught by Can you read that, Melanie? Uh, actually, you know Harlan what? Never mind. Let's Coleman. do let's do let's do Abraham Lincoln because it's it's set up to that. And it's a little and this may have more to do not with the Nook, but my inability to navigate it, because I'm not really sure on the touch screen. Okay, this moves the touch screen, so I'm thinking that this might activate Abraham Lincoln. And that's right, so no issue with the Nook user error. So it's opening the book that's already been downloaded on there. And there we have a book um, that, that's a cover. And then you can see how many pages there are. How many pages do they have? One of... 258. One of 258. Now, the difference is, you remember when we talked about the Kindle, they don't have the page numbers. I'm just going to flip forward, and here's the table of contents, and I'm just pushing the arrow button to arrow forward. And I'm going to get out of the table of contents, and...
get into the actual book. And I, I imagine that just, and so that's just, that's a page of the book, just like with the iPad and the Kindle, one can adjust the font to make it larger. Um, as far as I know, the Nook does not, does not have a bat, backlight, neither does the Kindle. The philosophy behind the Kindle not having a backlight is that it's supposed to be just like a book. And as you know, the iPad does have a backlight. And as I said, I think that the difference with the, the Nook, as we get out of there and go into the menu, is that there are things other than books on the Nook, which is um, some people like. So, if you, so I would say, not necessarily a recommendation, but if you are looking for a pure book reader, Something like the Kindle might be good, and with the external keyboard, and um, both the iPad and obviously the the Nook give you more than uh, an e-reader. Let me while we're here, let's just finish up with this one thing, and let me go into the shop. The uh, the Nook also has a virtual keyboard, so let's just take a look at it. This is the virtual keyboard of the Nook. So if you're searching for a book on the Nook, this is a keyboard you will use as compared to the keyboard on the Kindle. And we've already done the keyboard before on the iPad. So the Nook. And the Nook, at least the sample review copy, I'm just going to turn it around here, the, the classic N for Nook, that I got did not come with a cover. I don't know whether a cover is available but in previous uh, YouTube videos and Facebook fan page videos, you have seen the covers for both the Kindle and the iPad. But this is the Nook. For more information, log on to cbs5.com slash baysunday and then click on Nook. Thanks.